A day after Copper Blue erected this sign opposing issue one, there's a new sign on the front door. The restaurant closed until further notice after most of the 30 employees walked off. When the evening shift came to clock in, they all refused to clock in. Brian Arlinghouse has owned the restaurant since 2020. He says it's the first time he's taken a political stance, but says his Christian beliefs led him to this time. For me, it's, it's there for the glory of God, and I feel like this issue one isn't just political, but it's something moral. Several now former Copper Blue employees say it's not so much the position Arlinghouse is taking, it's that they don't want to be associated with any political position. It's not about what it represents, it's about just how he's putting us at risk, you know, our safety, our comfort uh, for a point that uh, only he appears to want to make. It's harassment, basically, because now I've got such and such who is against it, and I'm for it. And then now we're butting heads. Now we can't work together. Copper Blue's Facebook post about the situation quickly garnered more than 2,000 comments, earning them both praise and rebuke. Experts say it's a risky move for businesses to delve into politics. Uh, it can potentially put them at odds with customers. It can potentially put them at odds with employees. And so most businesses are somewhat reluctant to get involved. And after a meeting with Arlinghouse this afternoon, Jessica Lambert is just as reluctant to return to her assistant general manager post. I would not be willing to work for this owner. Even if he took down the sign? even if he took down the sign, because he has disrespected us. For his part, Arlinghouse is vowing to keep the sign and says he's turning to a higher power to keep his business above water. I bought the business and offered up the business to the honor and glory of God, and I trust that he'll protect us. Um, I hope that he will protect all the employees also. In Milford, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.